Well, you know what I need to cure my Apple ear pod hangover? Some good news about the Raspberry Pi. PC World reports that even Upton, the man behind the cheap computer, never had commercial success in mind. But today he announced that they had sold their 10 millionth Raspberry Pi. And in honor of that, the company is offering a new starter kit, which includes a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, an 8 gigabyte Noobs SD card, an official case, an official 2.5 five amp multi-region power supply, an official one millimeter HDMI cable, an optical mouse, and a keyboard with high quality scissor switch action. Scissor and switch. a copy of the book, Adventures in Raspberry Pi Foundation Edition. It's available in the UK for 99 pounds, which is about 140 US dollars. Uh, it will be available uh, to the rest of the world in the coming weeks. And every time you buy a Raspberry Pi, you fund their ongoing engineering work as well as the company's educational outreach programs. I love the Raspberry Pi. I think it's really cool. I actually just ordered prior to this, totally unrelated. I didn't know that this was happening. Um, and then I saw it and I was like, wait a minute, did I order the wrong one? Because I ordered the three. I thought maybe this meant that there was another version of it. But thankfully, uh, that wasn't the case because I ordered another Raspberry Pi 3 to... Uh, swap into my arcade at home oh. to upgrade the specs there and then I've got an extra Raspberry Pi. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. You can do a million of things with this Can't. with this stuff. You know, media centers, all sorts of kind of uh, internet of things kind of concepts, whatever. I think this is awesome. It's it's like uh, like Radio Shack's circuit kits mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, people who want to be makers and I think this is a great move. Yeah, you know that rocket that we saw NASA just launch? You could have mm -hmm. done that with a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Almost. No. Okay. Almost <laughs> achievable with a $35 uh, mini computer. Uh, yeah, the goal of the Raspberry Pi Foundation was originally uh, just to get computers into the hands of young people so that they would go uh, to college and, and get uh, experience with computers and sort of revive the excitement of the 80s. You mm -hmm. know, this stuff that we felt like with a Commodore 64. And, you know, there, there was just so much excitement around computers and building computers. And, um, but now it's really taken off in an amazing way. Um, this is their first bundle. Um, so it's, it's exciting. It's cool. I, on the other hand, and I will say when I was looking at this and kind of looking through the components and everything, I kind of, I did find myself going, that's a lot of money for some of this stuff. Like, I don't know how much the book costs, but I know that for a lot of this, if you have any sort of like long-term history with computers or whatever, you're probably going to have a keyboard hanging mm -hmm. around. You're probably going to have an extra mouse in the, in the cabinet. You're probably going to have an HDMI cable somewhere. So some of these things for that to add up to $140 kind of seems like maybe it would be a little expensive for what you're getting. At the same time, there's total value to getting a kit. And some people, that's what they want. They want to know that they, they drop their money, they're going to get this hobby kit, and they're going to be able to do all sorts of things out of the box, not have to worry about mix and matching and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, it's the ease of use. Because yeah. we got the $9 computer, um, the chip computer, and it came, mm -hmm. and we opened the box, and it's so exciting. But, like, at home, we didn't have, you know, well, we, we didn't have a keyboard. Now. I don't know. It depends on how much stuff you have laying yeah. around. Like, yeah. we didn't have a keyboard. We didn't have a mouse. We didn't have any of this stuff um, hanging around. We came in here, went to the basement of the brick house, um, and, of course, all of that stuff was just sitting around for us to take. Mountains <laughs> of keyboards at the brick house basement. So I think it's just <laughs> ease of use. This would make a great gift, too, yeah. you know, for someone. Totally. totally.